These are my tools for making great PS2 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Proud of Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a PS3 and PS4 controller using OPL latest daily build with free McBoot. And this is an awesome way to play your games wirelessly. I can't say that all games work, but the majority of games should work. And I'll show you how to do this. So if you go to the video description, I'll show you where you can download the latest link for the daily OPL. Go ahead, download to your computer and put it on a USB thumb drive. So today's video tutorial, I'll show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and launch you launch elf. I already have my thumb drive plugged in with my Bluetooth adapter and it's um, put the elf file on a fat 32 or fat 16 thumb drive. So let's go ahead to the USB thumb drive, go down to the elf file, press R1, say copy, and then go ahead. We're going to navigate back to like MC zero, which is the memory card go into the boot folder and then we're going to press R1 and paste it. Um, so this tutorial assumes you already have OPL from before. If you never had OPL ever, then go ahead, paste it and then go to your FMCB configurator program and add the path and add it to your home screen. And then you can follow with the rest of this tutorial. So what we're going to do now is let's go ahead, load the OPL. And right now I have it set up. So it's going to load my games off my ethernet through my PC basically. So momentarily we'll be at the ethernet screen and I know for sure Marvel vs. Capcom 2 works. So we're going to do that for today's tutorial. So go ahead, press triangle and we're going to go to the configure pad emu. Once we're here, make sure we have these settings on. So that's on Bluetooth is on. And then for one P and two P make sure that emulation and vibration are also on as well. So I'm checking through the settings. You can see that everything is on. So now this part of the tutorial, what you're going to need to do is we're going to have to take your um, thumb drive. We're going to take that out and then we're going to plug each controller in individually. So I'm going to start with my PS4 controller first and let's go ahead and we're going to plug in the micro USB cable and plug the other end into the controller. And then once you do this, usually from what I've seen from my own past experience is the PS4, sorry, PS2 will recognize the PS4 controller. So let me just adjust the camera back to TV here. And if we press X, we'll see it pairs. And you know it works because the DS controller MAC address value will change and I can actually navigate. So we know it's working so far. Great. Once you have done that, go ahead and do this for every single controller that you want to pair with the PS2. So in this case, the next thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and play around with the DualShock 3 or the PS3 controller. So we're going to plug in the mini USB cable basically to that particular controller. And once you have done that, what you want to do is use that controller. It should be recognized and then you can go to the pair and press pair with X and the Mac address will basically change for that controller. So here I am playing around with it. We'll see I press X and then it pairs and that can go and view the Bluetooth adapter screen. So everything's working. So let's go ahead and save your changes by pressing X and go ahead and launch the game and press X. After that, you can unplug all your USB cables to all your controllers basically. And now we should be good to go. So once the game starts at the main menu, you press like the PS button on your, on your DualShock 3 controller. You press the PS button on your uh, PlayStation 4 controller, right? You should get some LEDs blinking. Eventually your, your controllers will sync to the Bluetooth adapter. And we'll see this momentarily as we continue with this video here. So it's pretty cool. And in the future, when you restart your PS2, restart OPL, select your game, you don't have to do the syncing process with the USB cable anymore. The PS2 just knows it's in the settings of that adapter. So here I am with the PS3 controller. We see it's synced. The first LED is on. That's awesome. I'm going to press start here. I'm going to enter the game. Once I'm at the main menu, an easy way to see is like, oh, my second controller is not on because the verse mode is not on. Not a problem. Press the PS button on the PS4 controller. Momentarily, you see the lights blink and then eventually uh, it'll start syncing. There we go. It's synced. Awesome. So now we can go into the versus mode and start selecting characters with both the PS3 and also the PS4 controller. So I'm going to showcase that right now. So here's the PS3 controller. Go ahead, let's select some random characters. All right, we're ready to have a lot of good time. So like I said, I don't know if every single game, I know for sure not every single game works. So just 
you know, try the latest OPL daily build. If that doesn't work, you could always go downgrade to a, another version. I know some game compatibilities are broken as you go to higher versions, so it might be a lot of trial and error, unfortunately. So here we are with the PS3 controller. We can see that it's working for uh, player one, basically. So I'm jumping around. You know, that looks good. Let's go ahead to the second controller, PS4. I can see I'm jumping around. That looks good. You know, so um, I don't notice any input lag. I know gamers have asked me that before and uh, it's, it's fine. So now we're gonna use both controllers. See, everything is working. This is a real video tutorial. It's not a fake video, you know? So that is today's video game tutorial for the PS2 with wireless controllers. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care, bye.